Joining me now from Washington, D.C., Senior Research Associate at the Federation for American Immigration Reform, or FAIR, Spencer Raley. Spencer, this is the exact reason, I kind of chuckle here, but it's the exact reason why the Trump administration wanted to pose the question uh, in the census uh, citizenship, right? You know, we could get a, a pretty good idea. You could drill down with some follow-up questions. Okay, if you're not a United States citizen, are you here legally? Do you have paperwork or not? You know, we, we know X amount wouldn't have answered that question, but X amount would have. And by the way, I also talk about how there would be a residual effect, I think, if people are that illegals are that paranoid about answering a simple question on the census that's meant to take the census of United States citizens, by the way, but if they're that afraid of that question, then maybe they leave the country, maybe they self-deport. But the bottom line is, we have a right to know, Spencer, as Americans, how many illegals are in this country. Yes, absolutely we do. And this is one of the main this is one of the main reasons we ask this question is because there is so little information available to the American public on this topic of simply how many illegal aliens are in the United States. And we believe that if there were a census, a mandatory census question where we drilled down deeper into this issues, a lot of politicians would not like the answer that they get. All right. So you folks at Fair, you're doing your job, right? Uh, you're investigating and you're tallying. Uh, trying to do the job of the census takers. And, and you've come up with a number of 14.3 million estimated, and I, I do want to underline estimated, uh, population of illegals mm -hmm. uh, in this country. The truth is, Spencer, that, but that's a big number, and it's bigger than the 11 million that's been floated out there for decades, which is imp an impossibility, as I've told, pointed out on this program many times. 11 million has been stuck there for decades. 14.3 million, that's larger, obviously, than 11 million, but we simply don't know the actual number, do we? No, there's no way to know the actual number. And if anyone tries to tell you they know the actual number, you can just write them off because there, there is absolutely no way to know. A lot of these, uh, these uh, research projects, as they're, as they're coined, rely on Census Bureau information. And a lot of these researchers go through all sorts of uh, mathematical gymnastics in order to try to keep that number at that 10 million that it has been stuck up for right. many years. But we at FAIR have been trying to actually look at the correct number and look at different migration trends just by digging through information that is readily available to us now, either through overstay data or what the Border Patrol is telling us in regards to how many people are actually getting across the border versus how many are caught. And there are several key reasons for uh, the increase in population. Uh, your estimate that you've come up with at 14.3 million, which is probably a, a low estimate, but there are several reasons for what you might call this surge. And, and one of them, by the way, is the recent surge at the border, coordinated surges, the so-called caravans. Obama-era policies, uh, activist judges have mm -hmm. been blocking efforts to try and fix the border and then stop the flow. Sanctuary policies, sanctuary state, California, is a harbinger for these illegals. And one more thing, the strong uh, U.S. economy. It's attractive to try and violate our sovereignty. Yes, all of those things together, you're correct. In addition to that, the many loopholes to the asylum program we have right now, and you have so many politicians in the United States are essentially just holding up big welcome to America, come to America signs for illegal aliens, and uh, it's, it's creating a, a major fiscal and social strain on, right. on U.S. citizens in, in this country. Harmful to any society. Uh, even the United States, the greatest country on the planet, it's harmful for all societies to be attacked mm -hmm. by waves and waves of illegal immigrants over the decades, and it needs to stop for all countries, and it certainly needs to stop for the United States. Spencer, thank you.